Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel, my name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can set up Foundry dedicated server on your Windows VPS, so let's get started. First, I will show you how you can get a Windows VPS server from us. If you already own one, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure server to your liking, you can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally, select a payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 30% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on use voucher and typing Foundry 30. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here, create an administrator password that you will have to use in order to log in via the remote desktop app. After creating the password, click on save. Now copy your server's IP and launch a remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the computer tab, paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrated by default. Now click on Act, type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click on OK. After successfully connecting to the machine, create a folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For example, I will call it Foundry. Now open Google Chrome and paste in the link that you will find in the video description. This will now automatically start the download of Steam CMD. Once the download finishes, feel free to close this window. Now open File Explorer, go to the Downloads folder, open the Steam file that you just downloaded and drag and drop the contents of it into the folder you created earlier. After that, double click Steam CMD and wait for the installation to finish. After it is finished, write down the following command, login anonymous. Then paste in the app update command that you will find in the video description and installation of your Foundry dedicated server will now begin, which can take up to 10 minutes, so sit back and relax. After a successful installation, feel free to close this window by typing quit. Now open the folder you created earlier again. From here, go to Steam Apps, Common, then Foundry dedicated server. In this folder, you will find the files of the Foundry dedicated server, and you will now need to configure the server before starting it, so simply right-click click, navigate to new and click on create a new text document. Call the file app, but make sure to change the .txt to .cfg and click on yes. After creating the .cfg file, right click on it and open it with notepad++. In here, paste in the following command that you will find in the video description. If you want, feel free to edit the name of your server, set a server password, set a server public or even add more configurations as shown on the screen. You will also find the link with all the available configuration settings in the video description. Now, once to configure everything to your liking, save the file and close this window. You will now need to unlock the ports before starting the server. To unlock the ports, search for Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. A new window will open, so simply paste in the following command that you will find in the video description and press on enter. All the needed ports will now be unlocked for your server to appear online and for others to join. Now feel free to close the window and start the server by double-clicking on the file called foundry dedicated server.exe and wait for the server to come online, which can take a couple of minutes. Once the server comes online, launch foundry on your PC. In the game, click on Multiplayer, then click on IP Direct Connect. In this box, you will need to paste in the IP to your server, so simply go back to your Zap interface, copy the IP address, go back to the game, and then paste it into the box. Next, leave the port as default 3724 and put in the server password if you have created one earlier. After that, just press on Connect. And here you go, you have now successfully connected to your own Foundry dedicated server. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact or support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zav server.